Why can't you always see the chromosomes? In the human cell, the DNA is packaged with proteins called histones, which together form a substance called chromatin. When looking at the cell, the chromatin appears to be a coiled mass. But the chromosomes can become visible during cell division, mitosis, when the chromatin condenses and the chromosomes separate into individual structures. Every human has a unique set of chromosomes containing their unique genetic profile. The chromosomes can be viewed by doing a karyotype, a laboratory procedure that looks at the numbers and characteristics of an individual's chromosomes. Karyotypes can be prepared for any cell and the DNA is extracted during mitosis when the cells are in metaphase, which is the stage when the chromosomes have condensed and separated. The chromosomes are then placed on a glass microscope slide, fixed and stained so they can be viewed. The chromosomes are arranged into a karyogram and each pair is identified. This might simply be done by printing a photograph and cutting out the chromosomes to form pairs. They are arranged in descending order of size with the largest first, number 1, down to the smallest, number 22, and followed by the sex chromosomes at the end, number 23. A normal male karyotype is therefore expressed as 46, XY and the female as 46, comma XX. From the karyogram, a stylized diagram can be produced called an ideogram. The chromosomes are lined up along their centromeres, the indentation point separating a short and long arm. On the ideogram, chromosomes are placed with the short arm pointing upwards and the long arm downward. The chromosomes are further numbered and annotated to assist identification. The short arm is simply called P, from the French for small, petit, and the long arm is the next letter of the alphabet, Q.